We are currently conducting the first assessment for sharks and rays in the Comoros. That will help us assessing the distribution and relative abundance of those species. So we are using BRUV's Baited Remote Underwater Video System. Very efficient, cost-effective and non-invasive methods that allow us to actually assess the presence of species and particularly sharks in the habitats. Within this study, we are very hoping to see particular species such as the oceanic white tip shark, which is regularly seen by fishermen, but we would like to understand how abundant that species might be in the country. So over the past couple of months of using those baited cameras, as of now, we have not seen any sharks on the videos except from one ray. So few sharks on the reefs in Comoros has an implication in terms of the health of the ecosystem itself. You need those predators to maintain a healthy reef fish population. And with community in Comoros on the matter of protecting sharks can be a bit challenging. One side because it is food and those communities depend on it. They need to feed the family. But at the same time, there is also a will to protect some of the species. Seeing how few sharks are currently in Comoros water is an urgent need to take action for increased protection. Um, for those species, including reducing fishing pressure on critical habitats, nursery ground where you see juvenile sharks, like mangroves and shallow waters. Looking at past studies that we're conducting on sharks and rays, I've shown population of sharks functionally extinct in some of the countries in Eastern Africa. And if we look at Comoros, it is also very concerning not to see any of those reef shark species on our baited camera, because this is a sign that reef associated shark species are very low in terms of the size of their population suggests some depletion, but also the risk of being functionally extinct.